Hello everybody, I hope that you are all doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I will be covering Bitcoin, Walton Chain and Elrond. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and uh, yeah, let's start with the king, let's start with Bitcoin uh, on what has been a relatively, let's call it quite easy few days of trading really. I've literally taken a, probably about two trades. Um, today I've been real busy with the hospital, uh, but yeah, like overall either anyway, it's kind of just been a nice environment for trading, let's be honest is the technicals have been respected very well um so we look at bitcoin here and obviously we had this consolidation range yesterday and i entered a like um just a few trades yesterday originally i entered a short uh, and this is as we were consolidating here under this resistance and then we obviously dropped back down to what was then the bottom of the range but that was the 236 fib and then we dropped down to that 236 obviously from the low to high a very bullish retracement if we're honest isn't it so obviously a very bullish retracement there to in between the 236 and the 382 okay then we ended up forming that range and uh, yeah then popping up very nicely at the end of the day obviously higher low higher low there you go through resistance um, so that was like not really too surprising that we went up through that to be honest Okay, and obviously where we found resistance, I really like it over on the Binance chart. This Binance chart is just absolute perfection. Uh, literally, this 11,515 has just been so relevant, such an important number on this chart, just amazing okay really really amazing you look back and see how relevant this is just so you're aware this is the weekly that i have had marked out for so long now so long i've had that weekly marked out for and you can just see how amazingly relevant it has been obviously here where you're acting as resistance here you back test it perfectly as support here you test it perfectly as support you lose it you test it perfectly as resistance resistance broken through today or this morning in the early hours and i was waking up just as we were getting that resistance and literally just had an order placed and there you go there it gets filled again and you move back up and that's just simply this such an important SR level real 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 important um, so I absolutely love that level to be honest it's given a, a quite a few profitable trades now um, simply a weekly level like this is how you can see trading doesn't have to be too hard that's so nice that level okay and you can see this parallel that we're in obviously there was our old parallel that we were trading in okay trading within this one and then you break out you consolidate in the range of be between the two parallels which was quite uh, nice to see and then obviously we broke up in the early hours of the morning and then you can see where you found resistance on the midpoint of this parallel you can see how it's been resistance and support prior okay so that's where we obviously bounced off there and found resistance the middle of that parallel come back down tested the bottom of this and then you saw another bounce and then at this point it obviously is lower high lower high lower high um, but here you've got a higher low so it's kind of uh, reaching kind of like an equilibrium of the range uh, where you would expect a, a break really probably in the next 12 hours 24 hours uh, you can easily like range sideways for a little bit more here uh, before you get a you know a bigger break so it might not necessarily come straight away knowing this it's probably now going to get a break by the time i've uploaded the video uh but yeah i, I would personally would say this it could easily range uh, a while longer it doesn't probably not going to break uh, as soon as you know i wouldn't i'd be surprised if it's broken by the time i end up upload this video <laughs> uh, to be honest I, I would prefer this to range for a little bit uh, especially as it does give like room you can see a few alts that obviously the majority really really bad you have komodo <laughs> komodo is just a beast coin komodo is not one you want to sleep on komodo is like a beast coin I, I haven't been trading it by the way so i obviously can see why it's popping up but i have been so busy today uh literally had zero chance to to trade any alts but you can just see how it was like really really nice it come down in that falling wedge okay falling wedge broke up to that resistance trend line and then you can just see now it's it's uh, you know breaking through again so komodo is like not one that you want to sleep on and it, if i I was at my computer i would have definitely traded that because it was like pretty easy to be honest um yeah but unfortunately i've just been ultra busy today had zero chance um but yeah bitcoin kind of the king right now this is obviously um much prefer to this is like my thing at the moment because i with me being so busy uh, for personal and business reasons, um, yeah, just have zero like little time to trade as I used to. I used to be entering literally like a hundred fifty to a hundred trades a day when I was sculpt trading. Um, and now I'm just like so strict on time, but it's nice for me because when this market is like this, I can literally enter one trade a day and just feel so safe and profitable in these trades. Um, like it's, it's a nice market to be trading in. It really is a nice market. Cryptocurrency is just king right now. Literally is. The technicals are so respected. Um, and what obviously I was not trading this today, but unfortunate for anybody that was because look at that. I mean, you work so hard. <laughs> you work so hard for the last year, probably in the bear market. I know there's, you know, we obviously have a mixture of older traders, newer traders, etc. But you work so hard 
you get so far, you got such a run, and I just know there would have been people that lost a lot of money on the on this listing today. Uh, you can see from it's a listing, obviously, but the top of this listing where some people were buying, and I feel so sorry for them. But that's obviously down forty percent in literally like what is this now? Like twelve hours? Um, that's pretty crazy drops. Um, but yeah, obviously you started to consolidate. You come hit hit fifty. That would have been like the best fifty. Literally sculpt that for five percent because fifty you're probably going to get a bounce and that obviously come up in the end ten percent. Wow. But um, yeah, there's little kind of bounces, but yeah, that's not something I'm touching for a little while. Um, I, I would have actually sculpted. This is something that I would have loved to have sculpt traded today. But yeah, I just had zero chance. But Walton Chain for me is just the king. That was an easy 50%. As you all know, I've been hyping Walton Chain uh, since it had that big drop. Because when it dropped so hard... It was, you know, it's when something drops really fast, it can rise really fast. Just like Bitcoin, when it rose really fast, when Bitcoin rose really fast, okay, it obviously dropped really fast, okay. So when things drop, rise quickly, they drop quickly, etc., etc., etc. You know what I'm on about here. And Walton Chain was one of the biggest destroyed coins. Let's be absolutely brutal here. Honestly, it was literally one of the biggest destroyed coins uh, during that few week period. You can just see the stark, stark sell off that it had. But nevertheless, it recovered, and I was literally had my eye on this one, two, seven zero. And this has literally been a 50%. And that is so easy from that daily support. Literally the bottom daily support that you had there. Okay, I didn't get in on the exact bottom. But it reclaimed, reclaimed 1270. And you can see, well... Where's your first area of resistance? Where are you looking at for your first resistance here? There's no resistance here. There's no resistance. Well, here you go. There's your OB. Okay. And look where you hit today. And that is a 50% from a unrisk, not even a risky trade at all. Literally, there you go. 50%. Uh, from reclaiming the support, literally reclaiming support, no knife catching, reclaiming support up to an OB, that is 50% because I wasn't closing at the top. That you can see that's an easy 50%. And you have your second second trouble area, and then your last trouble area is obviously the 100% gain, but you cannot be ha unhappy with that 50% in a few days there. That's quite insane from Walton Chain. Um, yeah, so that made me very happy. But yeah, I'm, I'm out of alts now. So, I'm at, so uh, yeah, if this moves up for the 100%, yeah, I've, I've traded it enough. <laughs> I'm happy with Walton Chain in that move. Uh, now I'm just focused on Bitcoin again. So yeah, I'm uninterested in alts right now. One part of me, because I do not have the time to be trading alts all the time, uh, probably this week. And, um, yeah, as it is, I don't really want to go into too much details personally. But yeah, I'm just really busy at the moment. And so I don't really want to be trading alts too much. And nevertheless, when Bitcoin is moving like it is, there is, is for me personally, I, I see no real need to trade alts. Uh, you can literally make more money trading Bitcoin than you can altcoins when it's like this volatile. Uh, obviously, you have come to go over on BitMEX and apply some leverage and you can make more money trading alts than, uh, sorry, more money trading Bitcoin than you can alts. And it's actually the setups are so much easier and safer. Like this is an SR flip that you would take every single day of the week. And uh, yeah, like that's a, such an easy trade. Whereas if you're trying to sculpt some of these altcoins, they're not easy trades. Unless you really know what you're doing on the altcoins, you can easily lose money. So it's like, mm, yeah, when I'm strapped for time like this, it's just one trade, <laughs> one trade in the day. And yeah, nice gains. But um, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to uh, go on about this too much more. Let's just end with what I'm looking here on Bitcoin to help you all out here. So literally, I am, as I, as I kind of hinted earlier, I, I am expecting more of a range to appear uh, rather than getting a, a break quickly, okay? And we can just see here where we can be looking for a, a smaller range going on, okay? Literally, like, range bound, okay? So then, obviously, we'll be looking for a break up or a break down. And your biggest resistance is there, obviously, this 12,000 uh pretty much let's just say 12K resistance. You can just see where I'm getting that from here. Uh, 12K resistance, okay? And then you're looking, obviously, at the support on BitMEX. It's slightly different. So on BitMEX, you have a Kia, a Kia, a more important support level of 1490. So 1490. And then that second weekly is uh, 11631. OK. And obviously on Binance, they're really, really, really nice on this. It's so clear on Binance Exchange. Um, literally, you're looking at, at 11,515 for a, a weekly level up to the top of that parallel which sits at uh, 11,960 okay then obviously you've got a higher resistance uh, 12,145 um, so yeah there's some like real key levels really like yeah not too difficult trades if we're honest look at Komodo still going this is such a beast coin like literally this is such a beast coin uh, it's it's probably one of my most, most favourite because it's of the volatility that it gets it's just yeah pretty insane uh, <laughs> so yeah Komodo is a favourite of mine um but yeah, unfortunately, I'm not trading that at the moment. Um, so yeah, I hope that you've all enjoyed this update. Um, yeah, 
I don't know what to say anymore. Hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, I would appreciate a like as always. Um, really, really appreciate that. And I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, keep your eye on Bitcoin. Obviously, Binance Coin had that uh, move up today as it released its IEO today. So you can see Binance Coin, obviously, with the release this morning, that moved up fairly nicely, but that's kind of sold off again, uh, as with the IEO itself. <laughs> so you just want to, like, pick and choose some different, like, not the altcoins everybody's looking at. Like, I don't think many people look at Komodo, to be honest. It's kind of like a, a hidden gem. Um, it's such a nice coin, like, literally. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I, I would actually like to go and trade this. Look at that go. That's pretty unreal. Uh, literally broke that trend line. And from there, that's like 8% in two hours. That's pretty insane. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I've been at like the hospital. I've been looking after family. So it's not me. I'm, I'm not ill, by the way, just so everybody knows I'm not ill. But obviously my nan has been really ill. Uh, well, not ill. She had broke her hip, had a hip replacement. And um, yeah, it's really sad. It's really sad. So my nan and granddad, uh, if you're not interested in this personal story, then you can like switch off. Uh, I'm done with the technical analysis, but it's like a real sad story. It's really, really, really sad. Um, so like my nan and granddad have been together for 65 years married. And in 65 years, they have not spent one day apart, not one night apart. Literally, they've been together 65 years. That's ma amazing. And um yeah, obviously my nan broke her hip and she's in the hospital and my granddad's at home and they are now apart and it's like really, really difficult. And um, so obviously I'm like trying to help out, have some support. Um, and obviously for me, family is like the most important thing. So obviously I have much more importance on family than than trading all day. So um, yeah, for me, it's like helping out and just being there for them. So it's, it's a little bit of a sad situation, but, you know, we're, you know, we're hoping for the best and she recovers. Um, so, yeah, that's basically why I'm real busy at the moment, obviously, with that. And, and you know, my thing going on with Chart Champions is also taking up a lot of my time. Uh, but, you know, it's all working out. It's all going well. And, um, yeah, that, that's basically why I'm, what, what, what the reason is of why I'm so busy. So, um, yeah. Obviously, I would love to have more time, <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes in the, in the coming days. Um, so yeah, thanks again, everybody. Uh, be careful with your alts. Uh, look at the, you know, stick on the main alts and look look at this recovery right here. This is nice. Um, so yeah, hope that you have all enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one. And thank you again. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Bye.